I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's project is a fun one. I was inspired by the wonderful Shannon of Shannon Makes. I will link her video that inspired me in the description below as well as put a card for it at the end. And I was inspired by Shannon and who made a wonderful like, patchwork hobbit coat dressing gown thing and it's so fun and so whimsical and I can't make a big project right now so I decided that I would make a little patchwork hobbity pocket and I'm really excited to share it with you so without further ado let's get to it here we go I had been doing practice embroidery on some wool felt pieces, so I cut a couple out to begin my patchwork pieces selection. I also chose to use that same wool felt as the main body of the pocket. I grabbed some other scraps to add on to the pocket. The main body is made from four pieces of wool felt, two for the front and two for the back. The center front will have an opening left for access to the pocket. The back will be sewn up the center from top to bottom. To make my pattern, I laid some tearaway interfacing on top of one of the pieces of felt and drew half the pocket shape onto the interfacing. I used interfacing because my tracing paper was not to be found and I have a huge roll of this tearaway interfacing and I don't have a ton of use for it. So necessity being the mother of invention. It actually worked really well and I will probably use it again for pattern making in the future. I hand sewed the back seam and front seam with a back stitch. I did the majority of the construction in bed. I'd get it started in the sewing room for filming purposes and then finish back in bed. After the front and back were ready, I began pinning the patches on. I fiddled with them and arranged them until I liked the look. It took a while and I did it a few minutes at a time. I treated the back the same way, adding patches until I was happy with the look. I sewed the patches on the front again in bed with different thread and stitches to make it interesting. Then I cut it to shape using the pattern. All right, 
I am about halfway done with putting my pocket together. I got the front side all sewn down and I cut, I used the pattern that I had made and cut it out to the shape. And so now I'm going to do the same to the back side. And I'm planning on using a blanket stitch around the edges rather than turn it, turn them right sides together, sew it, and then turn it out. I thought having a blanket stitch all around the outside would look cute. And then I will, I'm not going to bind the edge because this is a straight edge and it's not going to fray. It's just the two pieces of wool there. And then I will bind the top with some twill tape or I have some linen tape that I got from Burnley and Trowbridge. So I might use that, but we'll see. I'll see. It frankly comes down to what I can reach in my current state of back pain. So off we go. I worked on the back patches while waiting for a student. I wasn't fussy about perfect stitch lengths and I really wanted it to look rustic and handmade. After I cut the back piece to shape, I pinned the front and back together. I sewed the edges of the pocket together with a blanket stitch. To bind the top and make ties, no twill tape or bias tape was easily located or reached, so I made do with some orange ribbon. I actually ended up liking the ruffled edge, so yay! I had so much fun making this pocket. It was another great project to work on as I'm convalescing part-time and teaching on Zoom part-time. Keep sharing your low spoons or bed rest type projects down in the comments. I love hearing about your projects. Also share any not so small projects you're working on. I love hearing about those too. I wasn't able to get any photos of me wearing the pocket. I had a bit of a setback and am not as mobile as I had been the last couple of weeks. As soon as I get some taken, I'll put them on Instagram and share them here in the community tab. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Again, thank you so much and I will see you on our next sewing adventure. Bye!